So what's your connection with Granite Falls? Uh, well, as a resident of the arm for five or six years now, you know, it's really it's really kind of like a, a key go-to hangout spot up here, up the arm for me and for, you know, me and my friends that we're hanging out a lot. Uh, also, when I'm with my family, we can sometimes kayak up there uh, and have like picnics there and stuff like that, and just enjoy the area. How have you seen the Indian arm adapt over the years? Uh, well, that's, I mean, yeah, it's, it's gone from less of a, a quiet kind of place, like, you know, cabin kind of thing, to more of like a, a full-time kind of idea for a lot of people. Like, I think we kind of started that trend when we moved up here six years ago. But, uh, yeah, you see, you know, a lot more people coming in and building houses and stuff. There was a guy uh, getting ready to ski up the beach, and it was all rocky. And I thought, you call that paradise? <laughs> it didn't look very cool, right? Compared to the sandy beaches of, uh, California. of uh, California. Yeah. The deeds of the resort, Granite Falls, uh, yeah. we were aware of it. And uh, started in the 60s, going up there on Saturday nights, when they had a dance, and the ferry would come in, People would offload, and there were a bunch of docks there, and the ferry would tie up. Uh, quite a celebration. There was a bar there and a dance hall. Very nice building. Everybody was dressed up. Yeah. It was For like a Saturday big, night. A big dance Booze hall. cruise. They used to call it the booze yeah. cruise. And uh, we would go up in our little boats and tie up at the floats. Pitch black. And following that, like Harbor Ferries, they sold the property. And it ended up in uh, one person controlling it. I think his name was Fred Roach. And no, he didn't invite anyone or very seldom, certainly to party. Or And the dance hall had burned down. And uh, so all that came to, a, to an end. It was shut off. Like people couldn't go on the property or enjoy the property. And there was no hall. There were no, no uh, boats coming up, mm -hmm. you know. And the docks were uh, not sure when they were destroyed or pulled out of there, but that's what happened too. As you go, as you know, as you go up there now, um, there are no. Oh, the resort boats. was fun. It was uh, run by a couple from Saskatchewan. Can't remember their name. Farmers. They were farmers, farmers from, from Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan, and they were going to make a big, huge resort out of it. But uh, what they did was fun. Um, uh -huh. You could go up and, uh, oh, there were trampolines for the kids and there was a hot dog stand. I don't know, I think it was probably a good thing because people would go up and uh, just enjoy it, you know. It was some place to go when you were here on the weekend and not just have to stay at your own place. You could go up and, you know, with friends and whatever. And it was isolated from all of us living here because a little bit. it's in its own spot and uh, it's a place, it was a place for people to go. Yeah. So I think that's a good thing. Yeah, because boaters, there's not many places where boaters, if they don't have a cabin, for them to stay up here. So it was really good that way for people to enjoy the place. Yeah. All in all, it was a good thing. Because after that, uh, we realized uh, when people bought it, the Roches bought it, uh, they had a couple of Rottweiler dogs. Nobody was allowed to tie up or swim there or, or go up to the falls. And uh, it was it was totally private. So. Uh, there was people nowhere really for people, no, nowhere for people to land. Yeah, yeah, which was, unfortunate. yeah, yeah. It shouldn't have been private. It should have been left open for people to enjoy, which it is now, which is a good thing. Today, the fall serves as a campsite and attraction. During the summer months, the campsites are flooding with tourists. You also see many boaters hang around the falls and paddle their tenders in to enjoy the area. Moreover, I've seen some pretty interesting things happen at the falls. For example, last summer, someone threw a huge rave party on the west side of the falls. It was crazy loud and lasted all night. That was definitely one of the most interesting, interesting things I've seen happen up the yard. That's my community. What about yours?